you want to resource the right things. And this is straight out of the software world as well, right? So you've got a bunch of things, things you want to do, things you think you want to do, things you anecdotally heard from a parent that you talked to when you're walking through the gym while their kid was at team practice, all these little places where information comes in and ideas come in and things that you could do or I, ways that you could build a journey or create a new product or program. And what's really matters here, and you guys have heard me talk about the Pareto principle before if you've been on these, there's usually about 80% of your value and what you're offering to people and in what your service entails. This comes from maybe 20% of what you're doing, right? And then there's kind of stuff on the right here that's like, little or no value, rarely used, isn't actually desired by your customers, whether it's a service or a program or an amenity or whatever it is that part of your atmosphere, the sort of three elements that we were talking about. And then there's the stuff in the middle. It's like, they're okay. They're obviously not the stuff on the right that we know people don't really care about. They're obviously not the stuff on the left that we know everybody cares about. They're kind of in the middle somewhere, right? They're okay. They're not as important. And so here's the trick and herein lies the real rub in how this really trips up businesses, which is what I call the murky middle. Everything on the right that I've kind of highlighted and read here, it's easy. You know, it doesn't matter, you know, and for your business, maybe it's daycare, maybe it's, um, you know, having a bar in your, in your facility or offering a certain level of, you know, selling crash pads or whatever these sort of fringe things that you can clearly identify well you know this just isn't the stuff that really matters to my customers those are easy to identify the stuff in the green usually easy to identify as well it's really clear we know we want high quality route setting we know our gym needs to be clean and the bath the 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 back rooms and locker rooms need to look nice like this is the stuff we know people care about that's easy to identify all of us are smart enough and hopefully know our customers well enough to kind of identify the green and the red. And that can help drive prioritization. Where we get tripped up is the stuff that I've highlighted in the pink that I call the murky middle. And the murky middle is the stuff that's like, maybe it's important, maybe it slides into the green and you know somebody could come in and be passionate enough and have the right set of data or spend enough time preparing for the meeting to really convince you that this thing that's in that pink zone should actually be in the green. And this is where all the opportunity lies that we drown in. We absolutely drown in it. And so what I want to talk about today is how do we really clearly identify from a service perspective what's in the green and how do we sort of keep ourselves out of that murky middle and spreading ourselves too thin?